what's up to another video. This is Oso Nande. We are here to talk about Attack on Titan. Season four, part three, part one of part three. It was released on March 3rd. A lot of us were waiting patiently all day or impatiently rather. We didn't really know how far MAPPA was going to take this episode. As it turned out, it was only chapter one and two of the remaining nine chapters. It started off with Eren's dream where he woke up just literally in tears because he felt like he had lived an entire lifetime in his dream. And that could be very true. So like when you read it in the manga, you know, it's one thing to see it on paper. It's another thing to actually see it happening, animated to perfection. I mean, I have to hand it to MAPPA. They did a really good job with it. I just felt so sad the entire time. The people that they were actually hanging out with when they went to visit Marley, the ones in the tent that they had the drinks with and they were having all this fun with. Aaron going to Marley knew that every single person that he was seeing in front of him were going to perish once he jump-started the rumbling. And it saddened him, it pained him to do this. He knew everything that was gonna happen and it made him extremely sad. He felt very sorry. The rumbling was on its way and about to just completely annihilate them and there was no way for them to run nowhere. It's crushing, like literally crushing to watch all of these people. They don't deserve this. They're all being just crushed, just trying to run for their lives. And Armin and Annie, so cute with all the blushing and the cute stuff and the admittance of love and oh so tragic. Can we talk about Hanji? I don't want to talk about Hanji. <sighs> Hanji, she was the ultimate soldier to the very end. She did everything she could to try to stop the Titans from reaching the, the plane and the boat so that all of her friends could escape, knowing that this was gonna be the final moments of her life. I've never been so captivated by this one scene in an anime before. The way she just handled it, she just handled it. And meanwhile, her cloak's burning, she's on fire, she's still, trying her best until the very end. I mean, it had me like, just literally in tears. <sighs> After she passed, she woke up. For a second, you wish that she was okay. Angie. Then not only do we lose Hanji, right? Eren's just basically confirming what Reiner was saying about why did Emir leave them with their Titan powers? What was the point of that? The point was so that they could find a way to defeat Eren and that's his wish. He just felt like this was the only way that Eldians can be free, which is kind of crazy because I think by the end of the rumbling, maybe about like 80% of the world's population were like wiped out completely by these Titans. That's a heavy burden to carry for the rest of your life, just thinking that you were responsible for the deaths of all those people. Gabby and Falco working on a way to help fight. Annie's like, I don't want any part of it. I just want to stay out of it. But Gabby and Falco have tried to figure out a way that they could use their Titans and exemplify their powers. Just seeing on the other side of it, the Marley family on the train, Reiner's mom and Gabby's parents and Falco's family, like all of them on the train together, you know, still holding on to those bands that they had earned, you know, all this time and 
just not being able to let go of the fact that everything that they've known, everything that they have worked hard for is now over. So they get to where all the planes are and the planes have taken off to go fight big, huge Eren coming with all the Titans behind him. They're dropping bombs. Beast is with him, but being controlled. He starts taking the bombs and like throwing it back at the planes, like just pshh, and pshh. things are just exploding everywhere. And I'm just like, just the whole time, like I'm just like captivated by this whole sequence of events until our team comes in and just start dropping titans left and right. It's like, whoa. We got Rhino, the armored titan, fighting the beast. We got the cart titan down there. We got Armin there and Mikasa. Levi is ready to take on the beast. Like he has been waiting for this moment. There was like a few times that Levi almost beat the beast. What Zeke did to him, I don't think he will ever be able to rest until he has taken care of the problem, pretty much. So Levi is like, I'll handle the beast. Don't you worry about that. I don't care if I'm crippled, the beast is mine. So he's like, that's his job. It's so cool to watch like everyone just coming, coming off the plane. This part, part three left us with a serious cliffhanger. They're going toe to toe with Eren right now. They're in his face. They finally arrived. They're ready to go to war. So this whole one hour episode was like a huge emotional roller coaster. I feel like we've waited for this like forever and now that it came, it's like, that's it. I wish there was more. We still have about seven chapters left. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be like part four, part five, part six, part six. Seven. The way they're pacing it, it seems like it's gonna be more than an hour for them to get to the actual finale of the series. This is very unique. We have never had a situation where an anime can't release like an entire season at one time. We understand the hard work that the MAPA workers are putting into the animation of this series. Comment below, what did you think about this? this one hour special. I can't even call it an episode because it's really not an episode. What did you think about this one hour special? Would you have liked to see them cover more ground or do you like the pace? What are we going to do until the next part comes out? What are we going to do? Until then, I really enjoyed talking to you guys. If you like my content and you want to see more, I have other videos coming up about other animes. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like if you liked it. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.